a common analogy that people like to make is that if you are the first colony on Mars, that's kind of like the pilgrims coming from Europe to the New World. You know you're not going back. So you've got your loved ones, your possessions, a competent ship commander, let's go. But there's a fundamental difference between being the first Europeans to the New World and being the first Earthlings to Mars. The difference is when the Europeans landed in Plymouth Rock or wherever else on the east coast of the United States, and they stepped off of their ship onto the land. They could breathe the air. The, the trees in the New World were made of wood so that if they damage their ship, they can repair it. The fruit, though it was exotic to them, was entirely edible. And if it wasn't edible, they'd get sick and they learn not to eat it and try the different fruit. And by the way, many of them died. Right? We don't talk much about how many pilgrims died not only on the voyage over, but in the first year or two that they arrived. They were dying even though they were still on Earth. So to say, let's go to Mars, and that's analogous to the pilgrims. No, because you got to bring your oxygen, you got to bring your water, you got to bring your food. I'm pretty sure there aren't monsters that will attack them, or that they're going to voyage off the edge of the universe, or other fear factors. Plus, we've been to Mars with robots. So the unknown unknowns are are significantly diminished. I wouldn't mind going to Mars, but just to visit. I like Earth. I can, I can breathe its air.